glacier calving in Alaska, catching a kayaker off guard to a rocket launch in Florida seen from the window of a passenger plane from a demolition team in California that blew this rockfall to smithereens and a wind turbine demolition you just have to see for yourself. Wild Florida man who refused to let this towing company repo his truck. In this video, Best Media TV tells 10 moments you wouldn't believe if not filmed. Like and subscribe the channel. Let's start. On the Malay Peninsula, about an hour's flight south of Bangkok, sits the municipality of Nakhon Si Tamarat. It's one of the oldest cities in Thailand and is known for its beautiful Buddhist temples, but even these sacred structures need remodeling from time to time. In August of 2020, officials at an older temple hired a contractor to disassemble the structure. According to the Bangkok Herald, they'd already paid 3 million Thai baht, or about $80,000 for a new temple nearby. However, the only way to take down the shrine was to remove the 50-foot smokestack. Unfortunately, things didn't go as planned. So the crane operator grossly miscalculates where the arm is and collides with the smokestack. While it seems like a love tap, the force is enough to dislodge some bricks. Seconds later, the bottom portion crumbles and the smokestack falls like a dead tree. A worker connected a hook to the smokestack before the camera started rolling. When the tower falls, the weight pulls the crane with it. Monks look on in horror as the crane arm plummets through the sacred crematorium. Thankfully, nobody was hurt during the accident. Some believe the spirits of the dead didn't appreciate their final resting place being disturbed and took matters into their own hands. Locals across the province swore they heard the screams of a hundred souls. Guadalupe, Mexico is a large city in the state of Nuevo Leon held all that way without burning themselves. Perhaps there were a few more puddles between our cameraman and the burning building that they used to douse themselves. Unfortunately, a high cartel presence in and around Nuevo Leon means that these fires may not have been accidental. Bacama River is a 140-mile waterway flowing between North and South Carolina Stunt flying dates back to the Wright brothers and their exhibition team, the Wright Flyers. Ever since then, pilots around the world have been pushing their personal planes to the limit. On October 4th of 2023, a South African farmer was loading a new roll of plan report. The pilot walked away unscathed. It's unclear if this was a stunt gone wrong or a case of reckless flying. Brighton, Massachusetts is a Boston suburb about 20 minutes west of the city center. The winter of 2009 was rough in New England, with 11 inches of snow falling after a December storm passed just before Christmas. One family living on a lake decided this was the perfect time to cut down a 70-foot elm tree in their front yard. They soon learned the hard way why we have professional tree removers. 17. Uh-oh, here it goes. And it's going the wrong way. Oh my gosh. 
Well, I don't think I got that, but that was not good at all. We just took out half the house. There's a frozen lake beneath the snow, and the plan was to let the tree fall into it. But judging how close that tree is to the house, we're surprised they didn't call someone to remove it. Our DIY dad makes a few more cuts, thinks to himself, and then cuts some more. Then catastrophe strikes. The tree falls the wrong way and takes out their porch. We assume the roof repairs cost more than hiring professional tree removers. So how much does tree removal cost in Boston? Well, it depends on the type of tree and the complexity of the job. On the low end, it'll cost about $300. On the high end, about $1,500. It gets more expensive if the tree is near power lines or other buildings. So judging by their position on the lake, this tree wouldn't have cost much. The moral of the story, always hire a professional. About 60 miles south of Anchorage, Alaska, in the Chugach National Forest, you'll find a three 500-foot ice formation called Spencer Glacier. The enough, the whole thing began crumbling, a power of the glacier as it fell in. A beautiful event that we were lucky to have survived. When we think of demolition projects, most of us default to old buildings or bridges that need to be blown up. But every day, professionals use explosives to make our lives easier and safer. For example, pipe layers detonate underground explosives to excavate areas for new gas pipelines or electrical wiring. Other times, your state's Department of Transportation, or DOT, will hire contractors to deal with hazardous road conditions. On June 16th of 2015, the Oregon DOT contracted K&E excavating to blast 4,000 cubic meters of rock hovering over US-26 West. They were worried about potential rock slides, so they figured getting out ahead of it was the safer option. Heavy machines arrived once everything was blown to bits. Within 30 minutes of the blast, excavators cleared enough rock to open one lane of traffic. A few days later, and it was like nothing ever happened. Unfortunately, rock slides are so random that mitigating them all would be impossible. They can shut down roads for days, if not weeks, if they aren't taken care of immediately. So when several massive boulders block the road near Mammoth Bar, California, contractors unlike the Oregon job, additional repairs were necessary before California could reopen this road. According to reports, the rock slide happened on a Tuesday, and the road wasn't cleared until the following weekend. They also didn't know what caused the landslide. Whether we're laying gas pipes or blowing up road hazards, controlled demolitions play a major role in our daily lives. A major role in our daily lives. The fact that they look awesome is just an added bonus. Thanks for joining. Stay tuned and subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos.